In today's video, we're going to be talking about the properties of the minerals. In the previous video, we, uh, we explained what a mineral is, how to identify a mineral, and who studies minerals. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little part about minerals, which is uh, the properties of it. The properties of, I, uh, the properties of minerals is color, streak, hardness, luster, cleavage, and fracture. Now, example, let's just say someone gives you a small test sample of minerals. If they give you this, and if you're having a hard time finding out what these minerals are, then, we, then you can use the following properties to help you understand. Let's talk about the properties. First is color. Color is the resemblance of how a mineral looks. Some minerals might be blue while others are green. Even though color is the first part of, about the mineral that we observe, unfortunately, it is unreliable to us helping what type of mineral it is. The reason why is that um, some minerals, such as quartz, come in many different colors. So uh, seeing the type of it will be kind of tricky. Also, other minerals, like gypsum and quartz, have nearly the same color. Therefore, because of the same color, it is hard to recognize which is which. Next is luster. Now, luster is basically how light behaves with the mineral. For example, let's take diamonds. Diamonds is a mineral, which actually, when light falls on it, reflects back the light, making it look very shiny and precious. However, when we take a similar mineral, such as graphite, we see that graphite is not that um, it does not have that much luster, and when light goes through graphite, instead of reflecting back like the diamond, instead the it absorbs, making it look dark and dull. So now let's talk about cleavage and fracture. Cleavage and fracture describe both one thing, which is how the um, mineral breaks away. Some examples of different ways minerals are uh, broken down Example, take mica, which breaks into thin sheets. Uh, however, if you take another uh, another mineral, like like graphite, you can see graphite, it breaks down into small, small bits, unlike the thin sheets mica does. So mica has a cleavage, and graphite has fracture. The next two that are left is streak and hardness, which we're going to be demonstrating with the tools we have here. First, we'll do streak. Streak is the powder left behind by a mineral. The way we are going to be doing this is that we're go we're going to use this thin thing called a porcelain plate, and we're going to use some sample minerals. Called and this mineral is called gypsum. And with the gypsum mineral, we're going to scratch it on the porcelain plate and see the powder and the color of the powder it's left behind. As you can see, there's some powder. It is mostly a whitish powder, very hard to see. However, I s we, we see the powder, it is still there. Okay, so we're gonna rub that off for the next bit. Next is chalcopyrite. This is how the chalcopyrite looks. And we're gonna be scratching on the porcelain plate in three, two, one. As you can see, the um, black uh, streak is left behind. Next is aquamarine, which is this thing over here. Let's scratch it. As you can see, aquamarine is a pretty hard substance, not leaving any streak behind. We should test it on a black por porcelain plate. However, right now we don't have it, so we'll save that for a different video. Next, we'll take cards. I'm pretty sure cards has to also be done in a black porcelain plate. So this is fluorite, if you're wondering, this is fluorite. Oh, I see, I see. I see this little bit of powder, that's the streak that's left behind. What's fascinating about minerals is that when you, even though they look green in the outside, like example fluoride, when I scratched it, it leaves a white streak behind. Lastly is talc. 
So it needs to talk to scratch. And just this very white substance that still remains. Let's cut the streak. Even though talc is a gray color, it left a white streak behind. So streak is another way to see, to describe a type of mineral. An interesting fact is that even though, even though the color of such, um, such minerals are different, they left a different streak color. Hardness describes the, the mineral's ability on how much it can resist before being scratched. So we'll be doing it on first gypsum. So this is the gypsum mineral. So we have two nails. One is a copper nail, the other is a steel nail. Now, if we scratch this with the copper nail, we can tell that this is a soft mineral. However, if it does not work with the copper nail, but works with the steel nail, then we can say this is a hard mineral. So we're going to be doing this in three, two, one. I scratched a bit. As you can see that white line I just created over there, this proves that this is a soft mineral. This proves that that white line over here, this proves that it's a soft mineral. So after gypsum, we'll get this chalcopyrite. We'll try to scratch it. So we'll scratch it over here. Turns out it doesn't work. So we'll use this steel nail. As you can see, there was some powder that fell, saying that the nail worked. Saying that this is a hard mineral. Next, we'll take aquamarine. So let's try with copper first. So it doesn't work, we'll try with this nail. There's some lines over here. It has, as you can see, the line has been created due to the steel nail. Next is quartz. So let's switch over to copper nail. Now we'll be using the steel nail because the copper nail was unsuccessful. So, yeah, I don't think you guys can see. However, there are some small scratch lines proving that quartz is, um, it has to be used with a steel nail. And it is a hard mineral. Next, we will use the fluorite. Fluorite leaves behind the traces. So let me scratch you one more time. Small traces are being left behind. Saying that fluorite's also a soft mineral. Lastly, talc. This is the lines left behind by the copper nail. And uh, this is also a soft mineral. This also, this is just some of it. However, these all are categorized by how hard they are through Mohs hardness scale. It, it consists of 10 minerals, starting from talc as the weakest to diamond as the strongest. So one would be talc, 10 would be diamond. So let's start and tell which one is hard, which one is soft. So gypsum was soft, chalcopyrite was hard, Aquam aquamarine was hard, quartz was hard, fluorite was soft, and talc was soft. These are the properties of minerals. One last review I can say is that the properties of minerals is color, luster, hardness, streak, cleavage, and fracture.